Some buffoons in the media who I bet don't even own electric vehicles claim that charging these cars is gonna cost you a million dollars to get a charger installed at your place or if you don't have a charger at your place, <laughs> you're stuffed. Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how wrong they are. Most cars come with an included electric vehicle charger. It's basically something that goes between the wall and your car and while well, your car does the handling of the charging. A bit technical, but you get the idea. So most cars actually have them included, but Tesla doesn't. And um, if you wanna buy one of these, second hand, well not second hand, brand new, you could get them for around 350 bucks to $500. Um, and yeah, it's just a standard wall outlet. The first type of charging that most electric vehicle owners would do will be from this, any Australian power outlet. Yes, your humble power outlet. And we did that for about 18 months with no issues whatsoever. With an electric vehicle that's got a pretty small battery compared to most. So do you need this type of level one charger? Yeah, sure, it helps. But if you want to do more range and add more kilometers per hour to your car, then you might want to think about this. This is a faster charger for homes. You might see them in shopping centers or businesses, typically known as a level two charger. They go from like seven, 11, or even 22 kilowatts of power. That just means the speed at which your car can accept that charge. Most cars can accept seven kilowatts, some 11 kilowatts, and very few 22 kilowatts, which will give you this various additional range per hour. Installing one of these things will cost you anywhere for, to buy the unit rather, between $800 to a few thousand dollars with installation normally about a thousand bucks. So all up all told, you're gonna to spend maybe two or three thousand dollars. And you only need one of these if you're gonna be doing a lot of kilometers every day and you need to replace those kilometers. So if that's not you, and it's most likely not, yeah, you don't need to buy one of these. By the way, did you know that most Aussies only do about 40 kilometers of travel per day? So this, you don't need it. So many people ask, how much will it cost to fill this car? And this will do about 400 kilometers on the one full charge. Using a price of 35 cents per kilowatt hour, which is a pretty average price across the Australian Eastern Seaboard, that will cost you about $22. And um, compare that to a petrol or diesel car of similar size, that will cost you about $75 something to think about, isn't it? Oh, and if you have solar and maybe a fixed electricity plan like I'm on, that gives us free electricity from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. every day, or just eight cents per kilowatt hour overnight. That means I can fill this car from absolute empty to full for just $4.80, or even zero dollars. Depends if I'm home. Now, not everybody can charge at home, right? So what do you do if that's you? Because after all, about 30% of the population can't do this. So let's go investigate. If you're in the community, you could come to this, a level two charger, just like the sort we have at home, but this is actually being provided by the council for free. So by plugging in this type two cable, there's a small end, a big end that goes into your car. I'm gonna get a free charge, free fuel. How awesome is that? So now I can go to a workout or have a swim at this local pool. And when I get back, I'm gonna have probably in about an hour or two, about 20% more battery than I came with. And again, all for free. Now there are some that actually charge for this and that price can vary depending on who you go to, but nonetheless, it's pretty amazing that this is a thing that you can actually access right now in Australia. For what might be perhaps the last option you have in the community is to use a rapid charger like this one. This is gonna give this car in particular from about 10 to 80% charge in just 17, 18 minutes, which is pretty damn quick. There are other cars out there that will take about 25 or 30 minutes to do the same thing. But the point is, uh, would you actually run the battery that way? No, nah, it's not like you mobile phone. You might want to do small little top ups or just wait for that once per week opportunity where you go and get yourself a coffee, come back and the car is charged. 
filling up at one of these chargers will cost you about between $35 and $45 depending on the price that you are paying. So they vary anywhere between like 55 cents to about 75 cents per kilowatt hour. And so I'm hoping that this has dispelled a lot of the untruths out there as to what electric vehicle charging actually looks like. It's very easy, it's pretty convenient, there's absolutely got an option near you, and yes, you can drive all around Australia, I kid you not, and many have done it, and not be worried about where you're gonna get your electric vehicle charged from. So I do hope you found this video useful, and if you have, think about super thanks, Kofi for early access and behind the scenes, and otherwise, maybe check out one of these videos, uh, YouTube thinks you might like it, and remember, subscribe, comment, share, and all that stuff.